right now there are very intelligent beings not human who are totally into keeping us in the dark ignorant and fooled right now there are very intelligent beings not human who are totally into keeping us in the dark ignorant and fooled and of course we're talking about the reptilian types the Anunnaki gang New World Order guys and this place is so messed up that even I can say these things and I can feel that oh no not the conspiracy shit again ETs are gonna get you you know what it's time to take a closer look I know a lot of you already know this. I'm preaching to the choir. I usually am on my channel here. But every now and then somebody new comes in and goes, Ooh, I like that. And so more people wake up to what I understand is going on in this place. Okay, so here we go. What I'm going to talk about now is this world we live in as the illusion, as the dream, the bad dream, or the hologram the holographic universe this density third density we can also call it physical reality but we can also call it the matrix okay now here's the deal this world that we live in this universe third density there are beings that want us to believe this is the only place to be this is where it's happening we are supposed to be awake in these physical bodies here now we go to sleep in these physical bodies they want us to spiritually go to sleep. The bad boys do not want us waking up when our physical bodies go to sleep. When your body goes to sleep at night, we dream. We barely remember our dreams, fragments of dreams. We could have a perfectly valid out-of-body experience at night. Wake up in the morning and not remember a jet. We get this a lot. We experience things when our physical bodies are asleep. Every night, we come back to this world. We wake up back into this plane of existence in these bodies. And most people remember very little about what happened to them when their physical body was asleep. This is not good. And the same with me. It's still a challenge to remember my dreams. This is not okay. Here's why. I want to give you an analogy or a way to look at this physical world and being awake but being asleep when our physical bodies go to sleep. We do things, we have dreams, we have dreams. Sometimes, sometimes our dreams are our we're our own little world, world. world. when our physical bodies are asleep. That's just us. Just and you're us. creating the stuff creating with stuff. your subconscious, with your subconscious mental, machinery, mental machinery, which isn't always working right good and well for us. Sometimes we have nightmares or we have some crazy dream and we wake up and what was that about? And you know, for all the wonderful stories we hear about what our dreams are really about we wake up one we don't hardly remember them and two if we do we go we don't what does that mean we got a higher professional help to tell us what our freaking dream meant that's not right something's wrong with this picture and I'm gonna share some of the ideas about what is wrong with this picture what's the problem when we come back to our physical bodies we have amnesia we don't remember shit this isn't right this is not a good thing so what the hell is this about we live before we live again and again we leave this plane after we die we come back again we live it again we leave we come back this place is a vicious place earth creepy fucking place yet we all keep coming back why is this we all know that we've been lied to about a lot of different things. It's just built into our social structure, civilization for thousands of years. We're not getting the truth, how things work. This has to do with the matrix. This has to do with the spirit world, the etheric plane, the astral planes. This video that I'm going to share with you and the information I have to talk to you about has to do with all these things. It has to do with the inability to wake up in spirit. All of this stuff has to do with we simply haven't been taught the truth and the nature of things from the get-go. There's truth in what we learn about higher planes, metaphysics, astral planes, but there's also some kind of lies or misinformation or disinformation. It keeps it confused and complex and unknown to people like you and me. And because it's that confusing, we cannot fully function possible the groups that I know are responsible for our conditions, we're always dealing with terms and their use, the use of various terms, words, word phrases, labels, 
for different things is part of what the dark side uses to keep us conflicted and confused in the whole world of disinformation, misinformation, conflict and confusion in philosophy and understanding life. The etheric plane. Well, if the etheric plane and the astral plane are the same thing, why two labels? Because in our civilization, the labels, the nomenclature, the turns of phrase, or the various important phenomena that is going on in our lives, there is no universal word or labels for this phenomenon. Well, you mean the subconscious mind, the superconscious mind, the unconscious mind, the somatic mind, the reactive mind, the stimulus response mind, the analytical mind. What mind are you talking about? This is done on purpose, people. We are being messed with on purpose. We are being messed with, people. And I'm not saying I have all the solutions, but I am laying out the problem as best I can on the freaking table here. So we can start looking at the problem, the parts, instead of assuming things that are wrong assumptions. You know, don't, don't assume anything. It's a setup. It's been done to humanity to keep us dumbed down and ignorant. The dark forces are best at controlling us. They mess with our consciousness. They mess with our belief systems. They mess with our ability to understand what life is really about. Life and consciousness and consciousness shifting. That creational ability is a very powerful ability. It's not just in our own little dream world that we can do that. And these beings know that. They got to keep us unaware of how powerful we really are. And they're working overtime, man. They're really trying to keep us ignorant and suppressed and unaware of life in the greater reality, in our primary realities, in our primary bodies. They get a hold of us when they can while we are in our primary body, the one that's non-physical, where our perceptions are better, and they want to keep us sleepy or sleep so that when we come back here, if we remember anything, we think it was a dream. We're being messed with, man. The dark forces, the greater reality, is basically, they have their hardware, their spacecraft, their electronics, their implant machinery, computers, all that stuff we don't see. It's in the primary reality when you leave this physical reality. We can see more. It's like there's way more here than we can see. We can see only what is on third density or this vibration, very dense, while we are in our physical body. To see the rest of what's going on around us and who's doing what to us, we need to be able to stay awake when we move out of our physical bodies. Every night when the body goes to sleep, we need to do what we can to wake up and stay awake and remember what we've experienced while our physical body was asleep. Because we can see the greater reality, the real reality, the primary reality. It's what's really going on around here. And all these ETs, they got that one. It's like they are living in two worlds simultaneously. From our perspective, it's two worlds. It's, it's our density, or what we can see, feel, and experience in physical reality is our world. They're living in the same world, but they are seeing further. They're seeing a higher vibration as well. So they can see us in third density, and they can see themselves and their equipment, their hardware, and spacecraft, the planets, the moon, the stars. And it's all real time. It's superimposed. If there's a Ford Mustang out there parked, they see it too. It's the same Ford Mustang. But you see a part of the driver coming out of that Mustang. If that guy was able to just sit quietly and relax, put his body to sleep and do an out-of-body experience, out-of-body travel, they would see the body sitting there in the chair as he lifts out. And that's when they become, uh-oh, this guy's waking up. This guy's wising up. He can see us now. We can't control him and this world like we used to if everybody starts waking up and realizing who we are and what we're doing. Because these guys, these bad boys, are taking us in our dream states and messing with us. But time and again, people have written into me and shared with me their dream about being on board a ship, a spacecraft, and they're not being taken care of friendly like. And then there's all kinds of uh, uh, extraterrestrial or ET abduction stuff. And it's not always being abducted in the physical body. We're being taken out of our physical bodies and we're being messed with. Now, if we wake up enough, they can't do that to us. We are too powerful with our intention to let them know. But when we are in a subconscious or a lower level of consciousness state, when our physical bodies go to sleep, we often spiritually go to sleep too. We're beat. This is a, this is a hard place to live. We fall asleep spiritually. And that's when they, they mess with you. It's also it's like hypnosis, where you put some hypnotic commands into an individual. You render them unconscious, our deep level of relaxation, our trance state, and then you put in the hypnotic commands. You know, you put in your affirmation, your deeper, positive, wholesome programming. But that technology has been used for millions of years by high-tech, extraterrestrial, not nice guys. And they've been messing with us and implanting us with negative stuff to make us forget to have amnesia, make us keep turning around and being reborn in the physical density when we could be awakening to a higher, better place. They're just keeping us messed up in the head. 
I can get into the details of that icky stuff, but this is not that video. And I know it's really long. Some people can get this and, and benefit from it. Others, it's not going to mean much too. But the kind of person I am, if I reach anybody, you don't have to believe everything I say, but if this wakes you up enough to think about it or shift some of your priorities to waking up more and more and understanding the greater reality, the primary reality system that a lot of these ETs operate on. They can move their ships from fourth density or, or this, this primary reality that they live in and they can move it into here so we can see them and they can move them back out. They can do all kinds of stuff. For a little balance, we got the good guy ETs and good guy spirit guides and angelic beings that are helping us. Apparently, it's a little more complicated and difficult for them to help us than, than we might imagine because we're going, hey, help us already. I think they are. I think they're doing the best they can do to help us wake up. So sometimes or a lot of times we will be encountering wholesome, good, friendly beings guides. So I'm not saying it's all negative and ugly. I'm just saying sometimes it can happen. And uh, heads up. The more we can wake up, the better off we are. And humanity is waking up really fast right now. And the bad boys are on the run. They're worried. They're concerned. They should be because it's all over for them. Because we can literally take them out with a thought. We just got to know that we can. It has to do with your feelings and your passion and your expression of your anger. Anger. If you're angry, express yourself. Express the anger. Get it out of your system so all that negative energy doesn't stay held in. Any emotional energy is your life energy in a certain state or condition. But if you try to express ourselves and get rid of the energy that's stirred up in us that would be detrimental for us to hold on to. So, if we get angry about something, it is the idea of the right target and the wrong target to be angry at. So taking it out on friends and family may not be a good idea. But if you know who's messing with your life and how they are fucking with it and fucking with you and fucking with your consciousness and your ability to wake up and be fully alive and live a good life, if you know who is doing it or what's doing it, why they're doing it, how they're doing it, how long they've been doing it, and how long they plan on doing it into the future, if you get that, you can get angry righteously and express your anger in the right direction and you can move to action and do something about it and the anger or the hate or the fear or whatever it happens to be will release. But as long as we don't know who the right targets are, we can only take it out on ourselves or others. We're in a mystery of why we feel so bad. And why am I so angry all the time? Why am I afraid? And then we also are taught not to feel our feelings. So we bury them, we deny them, we say, oh, I'm not afraid, I'm good, I'm cool. And we live on the surface. And we don't feel our passion, we don't feel our life energy, we don't feel anything. But we go through life and we're kind, we're decent, we're loving and compassionate. And we lift ourselves out of duality. We don't fight. No contention here. Love thy enemy, turn thy other cheek, and let the enemy beat the shit out of us. We are so beaten into complacency in this society that we couldn't get angry at the bad guys if we had to. And we have to. And we don't. Even I have a very difficult time getting pissed off at those who I know are responsible, the groups. I know are responsible for our condition. It's very hard. This is just one of those days I can kind of get jacked up a little. So I'm just saying, if you do have passionate feelings, feel them, express them. But it's a good idea if you can find the right target. Because taking it out on the wrong people isn't productive. You'll just piss off the other people and they'll start taking it out on you. And you're maybe not be the right target for them either. And it gets to be a clusterfuck. That's what the dark side, the brilliant, beings who are trying to mind control us and control our consciousness, who we are, what we are, who we think we are, and how we are as human beings in this plane of existence, let's call it third density, physical reality, planet Earth, right now.